Week 9, Problem 10. Segment of wire in figure below carries a current of 5 amps, where the radius of the circular arc is 3 centimeters. Determine the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field at the origin. All right. So I got this guy here. Start by, we're going to break up into three parts. Uh, two lines, a quarter circle, and another line. So I'm going to write up the formulas. So got my little glove on for the tablet. Yeah, yeah, pretty exciting. You know how Michael Jackson only wears like half the number of gloves as normal people? Well, I'm wearing half of that. So I call this my MJ squared glove. Eh, eh. Supposed to not smear. We'll see if it works. I'm kind of excited to add some modicum of excitement to my otherwise tedious life. My well, life's no, not tedious, it's actually pretty awesome. But, so I don't hurt you guys' feelings and make you feel special about yourselves, I'm going to say it is boring. So that you can believe that someday you can be as cool as me. It's not going to happen. Alright, so we'll start by writing up the equation for the magnetic field due to a line, and we'll do an equation for the magnetic field due to a circle or a loop. So we have mu dot i, hmm, not working out very well, i over 2r. Here we go. Alright, now I've lost interest in you, MJ squared glove. You're now dead to me. Alright. So for a line, we're going to have magnetic field at this portion right here. So the magnetic field here is going to go around in a circle like, nope, that's backwards. You click, 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 delete. Hmm. There we go, delete. So let's see, around this direction, there we go. So magnetic field is going to be around this direction. but. The real part to take away is that this uh, line is not actually going to create any magnetic field down here. Not any noticeable part that we care about. And same thing with this guy here. This guy's going to create a magnetic field like that. Oop, oop, yep. So it's not going to be of any meaningful value. The one in the center, though, is going to create a magnetic field. So this half quarter, quarter circle is going to create a magnetic field going into the board. Oop, oop, oop. Yes into the page. So there is going to be a magnetic field due to the quarter circle, but the lines, they're not going to have any effect because they're over here, magnetic field's over here. It's going to create a magnetic field above and below, uh, left and right. It's not going to create anything at the origin. No impact. So what I'm going to say then is I'm just going to only worry about the circle portion. And we know the radius is what? 10 centimeters? I say 10 centimeters? I said three centimeters, three centimeters, right? So we go zoom back in. So we're gonna have four pi times 10 to the negative seventh times, uh, was it five amps? Five amps. Five over two times three times 10 to the negative second. Okay. Ooh, I could probably do some of this in my head. All right, so four times five is gonna be 20, divided by two, and then we're gonna also have a three. And then we're gonna have a pi, 10 to the negative seventh. And then I'm just gonna move this guy up here as 10 squared. I think that's most of the terms that we need. So this guy's going to be 10. 10 divided by 3 is going to be 3.3 ish. Uh, pi times 3. Mm, probably should actually figure that one out. This is going to be 10 to the negative fifth. So we're going to have 3.3 times pi. We're going to have 10 point, I'm going to say 10.4. So we're going to have 10.4, and then this is negative 10 times 10 to the fifth. Negative fifth. And what do they want it measured in? Micro. So these are normal Teslas, 
and we have 10 to the 6 micro Teslas for every Tesla. So this is going to cancel with that and leave us with just 10. So this will be a total of 104 micro Teslas. So we're going to have 104 micro Teslas and it'll be into the board. Alright, sounds good. See you on problem 11.